welcome back to the best of the best light and love crew practitioners of love and light more distinctly speaking i did wonderful things today you know things just came together like really just chill um uh oof. it's i mean i made some time for gardening and it, it was it was a wonderful thing um i i don't know how many hours i devoted to that but um i didn't know until the very end when i was doing something affiliated with that how hard i was working at it so my hands are my hand is very blistered <laughs> it's okay though <laughs> it's so blistered like it it's hard to take off i can't take off this ring but i can take off this because it's already loose and it's and yeah <laughs> so swollen and blistered yay <laughs> anyway um i was going to use yes ostara i almost forgot which deck i was going to go use but now i remember Oh, excuse me. Ostara. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. It's St. Patrick's Day now. <laughs> um, I only have a bit of green on me. That's okay. Um, so I'm just feeling like a lot better because there was a certain part of my day where I was just, you know, just right before walking out of the door, I was uh, um, very just like tense is not the word for it. Mm -hmm. What is this? Page of wands? Page of cups. Okay. So I had to do like a little sneak attack. You see the fox um, shadow puppet, but it's also kind of like it could be a swan as well. Yeah. You hear that? It was a honk. So it was definite. Um, it was, um, I had to do like a sneak attack. Um, um, give, my life, give myself with um, some love and some grace. That's exactly what was happening, you know? So um, so I took care of some paperwork stuff. Um, I got an interview for Tuesday, luckily. And what, I'm opening that up. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. It's harvesting time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like, um, I went in my garden and then I noticed that this thing started sprouting up like insane. I have never seen so many like, blossoms and um and like it just kind of like I got sad <laughs> not sad but just like joyful sad anyway um how many foxes are in here one two three um three foxes watching that we can see in at least in the front row and they're quite pleased this is really nice because um this is um oh this is so sweet this is like teaching another species, like somebody, um, um, people who have different lifestyles, people who are just different from us, um, and you know, how to love. I mean, they, they know it within their own way, but teaching them a different way, um, like that's not customary to their own, like, um, routines, let's say. Um, and it's like they understand it because like I'm speaking, we're speaking Fox to them too. So it's like a melding of both worlds um, as I discover my own or as we discover our own. So that's excellent. I like it because this infers, infers is right? I don't know. <laughs> this, um, um, how do I say it? This infers, infers is like a head. Um, this, um, references um the um dark night of the soul you know the hermit holding the lantern and being able to put that down and being able to do that within a childlike state knowing that we're in constant learning on this journeying um it, it's humbling on itself in itself but it's not um humbling in a way that's like we're um um like how do i say it not confident about the journey or um, making ourselves smaller, but this is um, knowing that there's so much more. You know, we may feel like for a long time we've been like a big fish stuck in a small sp small pond um, where others didn't recognize us as a big fish. They just knew that we didn't belong. Um, but it's it's now 
Why, why do we even get there? Big fish in little pond. Angels of love and light, I welcome you into direction to protect these messages. My chakras, my aura is my space, and that of my light and love crew here. Um, big fish. Oh, but the humbling part of it is um, that we're not so big after all. That there's so much. In fact, you know, um, we're not as, how do I say it? There's so much more to tap into, including ourselves. So it's not to say that we're not big fish, um, but because um, yeah, yeah, that's that's what that's what they're saying there. Okay, I like it. I like it. Anyway. Anytime I spend X amount of time in my garden, I'm always like due back in there. I don't know why. Like I, I visit it like a dozen times more. <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> I have to be careful because my hands. <laughs> be gentle. <laughs> okay. So um, anything you want to say, Spirit? Because this is a totally different vibe from where we last picked up. Um, okay. Okay. Um, nine of wands facing the magician in reverse. And it's something's peeking out over here. So it's the top two cards, which is the king of cups in reverse and the chariot. Okay. So this is nice. Oh, you know what I'm getting? This is funny. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. So we have the nine of wands. Okay. So this is, um, this is showing up, but basically in our garden, um, all of the milestones because gardening is like constant troubleshooting. You're, you want to see, it's like the art of management where you'd like to see everything there. Okay. In, in the landscape within this horizon, local horizon, um, from wall to wall, uh, you want to see abundance. You want to see growth. You know, you want sentience to um, really like branch out. And um, because everything has its own um, purpose, its own place. Um, and, you know, different um, like customizations of what, um, what allows for optimal growth. And so you're figuring it out with the changing seasons and the fluctuations within each seasons from year to year. Um, and it's, it's really a cool thing to see because when you feng shui, feng shui with plants is like people, you know, each one making friends. So it's like switching desks in class. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so it's, you know, they're learning as well from each other. Um, and for me, um, I, I have everything like above ground basically. So, um, everything is potted and, and so they have to learn, but also standing within their own right, you know? So, um, they're highly observant when it comes to, um, their sentience and being that they're forced to. So I really like that because I've had my plants for like years and years and years and years and years. And so, um, you know, when you adapt to a world that you're kind of confined to, um, you also learn how to creatively um, communicate with each other um, to make things work. And I really like that um, because I, I have to pay attention to, you know, how happy each one is. And, um, what were you going to say about that? Shoot. Um, so with these milestones, okay. It's like you did like so many, like before you get wiped out with the 10th, 10th wand. Okay. Um, it's you like <laughs> all of these solutions that you came up with, um, to make each and every one happy and therefore the fate are happy. Um, and, um, so it's like the Fae are teaching us, you know, it's, it's really nice. So I, I just know, like, it's so wonderful. Um, yeah, that was really nice. So <clears throat> that's what we're doing, you know, showing up, um, and 
like observing. This is not like this is not really warring, but this does endow us for war. Um, to see um, such beauty um, that we were a part of, um, so it's like bilateral growth, and <clears throat> so we're sharing root systems when it comes down to the interactions um, by sheer exposure, like our auric fields are um, blending. And, um, you yeah, know, that, that's just, gosh, that's wonderful. So um, <clears throat> what were we going to say about this? Um, so it's being very intuitively guided in that. Um, and this is um, also endowing us with moon energies. Just because the moon is out of sight, it's and I kind of, I guess, kind of out of mind. It's still very present. So um, Celine, you know the, however you want to say the moon goddesses, um, are, um, we're like compelled to care for the sentience um, that doesn't that. Um, rather goes unheard. Mm -hmm. I mean, they speak, but they, they often go unheard. Um, you know, just according to previous, you know, it's just history. <laughs> and um, so um, solar speaking, you know, on a solar level and celestial speaking, um, we're very much endowed with the vision of how to see things. How do I see it? I don't, I don't know how to say it. It's like, um, sibling love, like, um, brother sibling love when it comes to, um, uh, solar alignments. Um, not really solar cause that's the moon, but you know, celestial alignments, um, that the moon and, um, the earth are very, very, very much friends. Mm -hmm. Being that it holds so much water. So we're gifted you know, when it comes to caring for our planet, um, in, in many ways, like even if you confine it just to into in like interior, you know, the, um, that sentience, like they love it. They absolutely love it. So anyway, um, this is, um, digging your hands in deep. Um, this is the magician getting to know, um, the underworld when it comes to like transmuting, because like when you find, when there's like some really nasty energy and you need to recharge and cleanse it, you have to like kind of bury that in the earth. And, um, and so it's like kind of like a little bit of a timeout. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to describe it, but it's, um, a transmute transmutation process. So this is not like the magician being like, um, mm, dark per se, but getting to know the darkness, um, in like learning from Mother Gaia and um, getting your hands in deep in the dirt and um, getting to know how to transmute, like working with that earth magic, um, uh, uh, like secrets of the usual unknown and how that really, um, the more you do that, the more you are able to see the reasons why um, your inputs are so much more um, like when you come into the awareness of how that, um, um, interacts with the celestials, um, that sheer acknowledgement, um, and expansive belief system also, um, is kind of communicated, um, to, um, the sentience around you. So it's, um, <clears throat> it's, um, what do you want to say about this? Um, so like, it's like your plants are given accolades by like the moon and you know, all of other celestials. So it's like, wow, like when, when you can do that, let's say when, when you're working really hard at a job or whatever, and there's some, you know, bitches on one side and some like assholes on the other, you know, it's just <laughs> seriously. Like cramping your style, seriously, and we 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 gotta make it work, and we make it happen. But like to get accolades from the higher ups, like people who you don't even like see face to face, like you feel like a lot better. You feel a lot more empowered. You, it's like um, building 
a stronger um, structure through, um, you know, morale, right? So that's that's basically what we're doing here, okay? Um, that's interesting. Okay, so we're talking about gardening. Oh, Stara loves it. Oh, shoot. Okay, so, oh, yeah, I wanted to show you about this. Okay, I totally forgot that these two were on our lap. Okay, so we're getting somewhere, like, fantastic. You know why this was funny to me? Because this is spirit in cash, right? This is spirit, like, on the undercarriage, like, <laughs> funny. This is, like, um, like, Spirit is with us as we're riding through, but we don't even realize it because we're like so involved with what we're doing. So like as we're moving along and like this is kind of also to disguise the fact that, you know, this is um, when we're moving things along um, and people see like haters or people who are just very resistant. Let's say there's people who are resistant to change, okay? I'm not going to label them as haters. Like, you know what? That's their energy. Um, that's their business, not mine. I'm, we'll just say, the matter of fact, <laughs> they're, they're resistant, okay? Um, they're having a hard time with changes, okay? Let's, let's just give it that, okay? Um, and so, like, if they're going to come at us, if they're going to do like, they're, they're like lay on their bullshit or give us their baggage or whatever, or give us, try to give us some bad juju or even our plant life for that's around us, you know, like, um, spirit's going to see the rawness of their form versus ours. You know what I mean? Like, so spirit is like watching, you know, like, <laughs> did it, did it, did it, you know, like, um, uh, observing everything. So in its true form and it's, that's kind of funny to me. I mean, that's that's really funny. I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. I like it. Yeah, because, like, this person has his eyes closed. Like, he doesn't see. <laughs> and so it's, like, underneath that. Like, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Okay, um, let's put that there, and then, um, okay, so let's get the rest, um, I don't know, I feel a lot better, and now I want to just do some more cleaning and stuff, but, like, I just wanted to, like, pep myself up, because I had to do some paperwork stuff, again, um, just some light paperwork, and I could have made a mountain over a molehill, but I didn't, so thank God, um, and um, I just got it done. I was like, okay, if I was clocked into a job and I had to get this like assignment done or whatever, um, uh, then and I don't even have to, I don't even have to pretend that it's for a higher up that it's just something important to do. Um, just get it done, move on to the next, and that's what I did. I was like, we're not going to overcomplicate this process, but we're going to be smart about processing this. We're going to use our resources, and like I was, I was, I didn't even realize it. Intuitively guided, like come on, and so um. And because of that, I decided I was going to have another Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> and um, I think the first one for the day anyway. And then just like go off gardening just a little bit. I did break a pot. Okay, that's no big deal. But you know what? I, I was going to throw it away, but I was like, no, I can fix it. <laughs> I can fix it. Why do I need to buy another one? And it and it just starts up another project where I can do a little mosaic thingy too. Um, so I'm excited about that because I do have some like broken pieces um, that have been like stored away for like years. Of, like um, some lovely pieces that I can put together. So I'm excited for that thing too. And because um, I haven't done that, like, pff, dude, I'm excited. This is good. And then, um, and then so now I get to clean up. Like I, I woke up and I was like, <gasps> I had this surge of energy. It wasn't like this, like awareness or whatever. It was just like an idea that just popped into my head. But I was like, why do I have so much energy? This is so insane. Like to, to like conceive of like how many things I would have to do to get that like done I was like, no, I can do it. It was like, <laughs> just like, no, I can do it. It was, in, it was insane. I liked it. Okay, bottom of the deck, seven of cups in reverse. Mm, this is saying to me, like, based on the content that we're, you know, just conversating on, it's like we got it down pat. Like, we don't need to look at, explore any other options. Like, we just know that this is, this is the right thing to do. Like, the, the you know, when we're picking out, like, which one is the holy grail, you know, it, 
Indy, which one is it? It's like we picked the right one. And it's like all cups, of, you know, all the other cups down. So it's like, like a no-brainer. Um, there's no like um, ruminating. There's no, this is like, and this is not like the last choice. This is not like the final answer. Well, I guess it's the final answer. It doesn't even have to come up to like that pressure point. It's just like, ah, I got to figure it out. We got it. It's okay. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to put that down right there. Okay. Um, anything else, Spirit? This is great. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm just feeling really good with it. Because my plants really do look, do look like a lot happier. You know, there were a couple of these that were like, meh, but dude, and I was worried about another plant, but like the stuff that it was encased in, it just kept it like warm during, you know, the coldness, the cold and dampness. So you, you have to be able to like stand back and like not pick at everything to make it perfect. Um, and, and realize that everything does have its, its purpose. Um, even like plants that had got like all chewed up, like, oh, you, you're a sacrificial plant. Thank you so much. Like you did a great job. Thank you for like, you know, <laughs> pitching in there. You knew what you were doing. Thank you so very much. So, um, things are looking wonderful. Uh, <laughs> and then you make those executive decisions where you're just like, um, you know, um, this is, this is just sitting over here and looking at prospectively at what, um, other things are to come. Like, I don't have, it would be different if the kids were into like some part of it that, you know, a certain thing that I wanted to keep for like little, like, I don't know. It was just, it was not fitting my lifestyle, you know, currently or in the recent past or in the prospective future so it's just like you know let's make up some we need some breathing room in here and i'm so happy that i did it like it makes it easier to clean and sweep up too okay so we have the king of swords in reverse and the nine of pentacles this is wonderful because, you know, even though that there's some, like, mind control, like, as you can see, definitely in the last reading, I have a lot of hesitations and a lot of skipping around, but, um, you know, like, we are meant to experience, like, as much as I didn't like experiencing that and channeling that type of energy, um, like, undergoing that, um, as a case study, it's very important to see comparability of different energies. Because that was just like a few hours ago, my goodness. And now, like, when you refresh your energy, dude, dude. And still get stuff done. And be rewarded with, like, an opportunity to interview for, you know, you know, just like prospects. Just like, it's not like the super best or anything, but... Like, dude, I... <laughs> you know? So, like, I'm... I also assessed in the fact that, like, if there are, you know, um, opportunities that, like, may seem like a, a carrot and stick, um, or are behind the scenes carrot and stick energy i'm not gonna get deflated on the fact of what their intentions are okay um because like getting all excited about something is is worthy on its own now um that that's only gonna build agility in the fact like okay so that if um if something was um not like what for whatever reason especially if it's foul if it was never meant to, like if it was rigged for um us to never um succeed in that um to secure it um then that's not our karma really like that's that's all theirs that's none of our business that's their business of what their like receipt is looking out looking at the rap sheet so for us excuse me um it's like, okay, well, okay, on to the next one. But we're not going to, like, point the finger and say, like, they suck or whatever. Like, all sentience knows that that energy sucks. 
we don't need to like add to that bit. I mean, we can say it every now and then, but to habitually like crutch on that, it's just like, no, you know, I just experienced today like a huge turnaround. Um, like just, I feel so much better. It's insane. Um, so even though there's kind of like mind control going on, like we're unfazed. Do you see that? I'm hearing shish kebab for real. Um, you know, like, like carrot and stick. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but like shish kebab, like, you know, like we've kind of nailed it already and we're like consuming what we've already, you know, nailed. <laughs> Somebody has a dirty mind. <laughs> um, just like, um, we are, um, not only like, <laughs> Okay, so we're regenerating and like transmuting the energies. So it's like, they're already dead meat. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like the shish kebab and like you roast it basically, basically you're based on our own like good vibing or, you know, our ability to make something of it. And we consume that energy, you know, the, the betterment of our experience. So that's freaking it excellent the way i saw that was because like that sword was hitting up you know this energy so it's like shish kebab mm -hmm. um <laughs> and being like you know our um little um you know our intuition is like what the fuck you know like that's not cool but like our intuition is staying alert you know like effortlessly like we know it's not okay but at the same time we are so pleased with what we've done Mm, that's cool. Okay. So we may have the um, Egyptian um, goddess Bastet with us too, because there's a duplication in here, and um, I don't, I don't know. I I find Bastet to be, uh, you know, like independent. You know, um, what do you call it? Um, just like postured. You know. Um, well postured, yeah. So we have three of wands, I think, in reverse. Yeah, three of wands in reverse. Um, so there is um, not just transmutation, but also um, transformation. Because the, um, and this is success because the ships are in, you know, the ballots are in. There is no more countdown. You know, three of wands upright is, okay, waiting for your ships to come in. No, dude, they are. They're at the port. The, the delivery is here. Your Amazon package is here. You got the email. You you already know because you've already transformed. And it's like, dude, like the, we're saying goodbye to the ships. Like, bon voyage. You know, like, see you next time. <laughs> That's what's happening. Because, you know, the success is there. Um, this looks like, um, like we caught our fishies, you know? We caught, like... Um, sustenance. Yeah. That's interesting. That's, that's interesting. So we have a cord of attachment, because this is like, you know, the fish game where you have that rod stick, and then they're like, um, 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 you know, um, that, that little game, you know, it's like whack-a-mole, but, um, uh, inverse to that, you know, so, um, we're catching fish, right, but this is telling me that, or telling us that the, we have cords of attachment to big fish, like, good prospects that are going to come back, so, um, it's just a matter of casting out the line, that's excellent, I will speak for myself, definitely, definitely, like, now that I know that I have really good vibing, like, highly vibing energy here i can say us i can i can definitely say us okay um knight of wands in reverse hmm why is the knight of wands in reverse you know what following the um three of wands in reverse um oh my gosh there's somebody that's very confident about Oh, they're lighting up the way. They're showing us, okay, this very confident energy, like, in their ways, um, or showing us, like, how that relates to the home environment, like, very practical ways. Because you see, like, the light shining, 
like casting down almost like a spotlight to this you see so it's like three of wands now we got the four of wands here so that's home and hearth and this is like building a strong strong root foundation um very similar to like that sunflower energy like weeds but they bloom and i think a lot of weeds bloom anyway um um so like it's it's almost viral underneath you know what i'm talking about so it's like um in i'm hearing like okay so like weeds you know it's like it kind of invasive um the, that's why i'm saying like it's viral when it comes down to our root system our networks you know like that's amazing so so it's this is return energy okay return to sender for us in the good karma when we cast out those lines because our intentions are for reals for reals and um so what are we gonna say about that so you know what's gonna come up on top right <laughs> that's cool okay bottom of the deck is eight of pentacles okay so this is very very intu um, intuitively guided but this is this owl is tired it's working like you know what the graveyard shift is to the owl like when the sun comes up and still working at it <laughs> that's funny so um there's going to be a lot of work coming through but this is um this is definitely alchemy because we see um it's like um making swords but instead of weaponry um we're spitting truth like it's going to be obvious the, the proof is in the pudding the proof is like the, the work is going to speak for itself okay so we're not building weaponry but you see the alchemy of like um uh hot iron stuff type of things going on over here so this is definitely definitely an alchemist intuitively guided um with like heavy duty um artillery when it comes to our work so that's that's really our weaponry the work that we produce like our craftsmanship whatever that is to you and to me that's it could be like multifaceted too yeah interesting okay that is the bottom of the deck and the top of the deck is the tower in reverse okay with the full moon in the background so um being that it's um in, in reversal we're looking at intentions so the new moon okay um our intentions are to clean up you know our own messes mm -hmm, from executive decisions so it's inevitable that we have to um like kind of roll up our sleeves and kind of um 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 take accountability for the, for those decisions that were made for the greatest good not just for us but for like all parties and um some of that is just doing the work that we could easily like pass off as like you know a molehill like into a just depending on the type of attitude that we approach it with um and, and this is um okay being the top deck it's it's obvious this is it's not just inevitable it's obviously you know something that um we take on like okay we know that's part of the job okay based on the decision that we made we made a good decision you know the best decision possible like accessing our doctor who um and um i'm hearing not our doctor who ha but our, you know just um i don't know i i'm supposed to say things when i hear them <laughs> not all the time though but like i was supposed to say that um so hmm yeah, we're intuitively guided, you see? Um, all the um, birds here. But they're um, realms of hope. They're white birds. They're, um, you know, like doves. They could be owls. You know, I think they're doves, though. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, open up to two of pentacles okay so um again we have yankee doodle there with the um 
This is the third time. So this is definitely an adventure, an awakening um, that also, like, it's so expressive, so expansive within our auric fields. Like, we just, like, psh, you know, like, um, what do you call it? Um, like an atomic bomb, but also, um, like, um, like a starburst, you know, like, psh, you know, like unleashed. And, um, and so it affects others. Like it awakes, it awakens others. If not just like sparks them up, you know? Yeah, definitely. Cause we see like the morning birds, um, early to, uh, morning the early bird gets the first worm or something like that. Early to bed, early to rise, something like that. Um, <laughs> but this is definitely an alchemist. Do you see? It's like chemistry. Do you see? Like there's smoke coming out of there. So this is persons that, this is us that's very like lit. And the fact that we're almost like Bunsen burners to what we're balancing. So it's like cooking up something good because of that um, that balance that we have. But this is almost like this is there's something international about this, like maybe Russian, you know, and you're like that dance where you just like kick out, you know, like but like in a squat almost. Um, but definitely in um, understanding like the death card energy. Do you see like that stork thing um, from back in the day? So this is very adventurous. It's um, happy. It's like, dude, I've never seen such a lit card um, when it comes to the two um of pentacles and i don't even you it's not normal for me to use the word lit i try to use it as much as possible like authentically speaking um but this is definitely it is lit mm -hmm. we are lit mm -hmm. um yeah this is definitely an uh, like a submarine that has um rather than being submerged it has like risen because that you see that portal um, definitely like, mm. that's interesting. Okay. Interesting. I like that. Okay. Um, let's get it. Let's get some fey energy in here too. Okay. So we're going to use Tarot of the Celtic Fairies because it's St. Patty's Day and we did some gardening work. Um, and like, we don't always have to use this deck when it comes to like intensity, you know, intensities, you know. So um, let's see here. So we have access to secret garden. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. There's that. It's 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, it's a death card in reverse. Definitely reiterating transformation. This is transformation that's also like upon initiation. This is like the formality of it. This is like the first rite where it's not just like introduce, like, burr, 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 but this is um like your first task of initiation. That's what it looks like. Yeah. The first task of initiation is the interaction within your like suit, your your new garb of um, transition. There might be some like um, pride type of, you know, like LGBTQ since when I particularly use the word transition and I'm told to, there's um, that type of energy here. Mm -hmm. um, definitely. So it's like a new identity. Your first interaction with your new identity. I like it. That's what, oh my gosh, that's the energy of this reading right now. Whether, like, you don't have to be trans, but that's definitely um, also comprised of being within the energy. And that's that's important. Spirit is, like, I, I got the chills. Um, Spirit is telling me to definitely point that out so we could um, bridge the gap of understanding um, of, like, what like what are these people all about like what is it why like are they just bored or whatever you know like it's supposed to bridge a gap of understanding where like like minds meet and it's not just about the mind it it's not just like a preference this is something um deeper than that um mm -hmm. yeah okay 
So, like, that's that's a key point where spirits um, sell it, telling us, um, like, how do I say it? Telling us um, to lay off a little bit, like, on that, you know? I, I don't know. I'm just... Um, okay, two fell, okay, one fell down there. Um, so we have the five of wands, or spears, and the ten of spears here. And then what fell down here is the ten of swords, okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of burdens and a lot of fighting, a lot of, like, grueling, like, like, very volatile, um, atmospheres here. Like, to the death even a burden and to the death and like an ego jump here um so there's a lot of burdens speaking of when it comes to trans um transgender um um issues like people having a real issue with it um yeah so that's why spirit wants to say something about that because you know when it comes to like the death and what i overheard on tiktok um some time ago were, were like some deaths of teenagers and and even like teenagers that are a minority so it's like a minority within a minority and and they're um getting the short end of the stick it's not even the short end of the stick they don't even survive holding the short end of the stick you know how that's crazy so um um spirit wants us to is there anything else that you want to say about the spirit because like i'm not going to speak out like you, you 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 say you say what you need to say okay okay so this one turned up it is four of cups um yeah they're feeling like outcasts right that they're just not part of any type of grouping um, when there's so much more to them than just that. Mm -hmm. So um, the Fae is kind of like, kind of cleansing them, blessing them, trying to wake them up. Mm -hmm. So um, part of that is also um, the exclusion also drives this behavior where um, there is an aloofness, like an attitude also that's built within them because there's, um, there's, um, there's not a welcoming there's um not even just that but there's definitely um uh like a separation so yeah there's um there's lack of like support to um purposefully like not facilitate that like to um assist them yeah so it's something like that okay so yeah, we have five different languages here. And a little guy, like a little elf in a bucket. Mm -hmm. Like a mop type of bucket. No, actually it's a butter bucket. Churning. Mm. So, um, Spirit's saying, like, because this person is tasting like the honey. So, um, you know, like, at least, like, warm yourself up to just knowing um what it means to like transition into a um, new place and the first interaction um like just kind of try to understand that energy like have a taste like just understand its flavor understand that part um because there's so much to us okay that we're all learning um when it comes down to um coming into fruition and to knock something else which is very similar in sync with other realms of our own being that have, we have yet to discover, we would like to offer that same, we would like to be offered um, similar support when it comes to accessing those points that are just, you know, like um, like a rebirthing, like, a, like um, an awakening process for us that we're something, we're very like truly excited about um, just because other people don't understand that um like why should we let that dampen our own spirit so it's like spirit is just trying to like kind of warm us up to that okay um 
page of wands in reverse. Okay, so it's a little bit of like, um, just like the pause button on that. Just kind of like, let it sink for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is that it for that? Dude, because you got to realize, okay, if there's other energies out there that work beyond our, like, cognition as it stands. So, you don't know, like, just acknowledging that sentience, like, knowing that, and then seeing how that works in our lives, especially with, like, I've had such a distance with the Fae until, like, you know, spirituality in the past year, let's say, okay? Um, that really warmed up together. But, like, noticing that the Celtic Fae are talking about, like, you know, helping facilitate these messages, like, that says a lot about, um, because look, dude, okay, this is, like, even bigger, okay? Because talking about, like, transitioning and all of that, if you think about the angels, they don't have sex deviations. Do you understand? So Archangel Michael is, could be Archangel Mikael or, you know, like they're neither male nor female. You know what I mean? Like, so to, to come down on transitioning, especially like minorities, like, oh, that doesn't vibe well in spiritual realm and in religious realm either. So like when you look at beyond the veil, dude, it's, it's saying, (laughs) um, it's saying a lot. So, like, that goes also for the Fae. You think that that's just confined to, you know, the angels? That goes also for the Fae. Okay. You got you got um, a team here with you, too. Okay? Um, all right. So, we're going to get Bananagrams. Oopsie. <laughs> okay. Okay, we have D, G, upright, and then two, um, we have X and A. Um, hmm. X, D, so that's kind of like, um, um, like, is that like high, high definition? I don't know, but that's also like, um, I don't know. I, I don't know like tech that much, but something about Georgia here. Or, um, <coughs> yeah. Okay, so anyway, I don't know if a lot of things are happening in Georgia. But anyway, okay. O M S R I N V I B R Z Q E Y S B K. So, what do we have here? Um, names. Do we have names? We have names. Mm-hmm. We have Vern. Okay. Um, Serena again. Wow. Um, Marie. Mm-hmm. Karen. Mm-hmm. Um. We have bison here, okay. Um, we have Nivea. Um, oh, my nose, what's going on there? Okay. Um, Risa, Marina. Um, Moses again. What? Like, what is this deal with Moses? <laughs> um, Dre. Um, Dream. Um, examine. We're supposed to examine our dreams. Okay. Um, breaks. Yeah, we're supposed to. Let me see. Go. Um, Brian? Huh. 
um, Ryan, Eric, but with a K, Ernie, um, Yogi, interesting, that's the first time we've gotten Yogi, okay, um, Gia, Gina, Rena, Ari, Arnie, Barney, this is the first time we got Barney, um, or Barney's, um, Ron, um, Drake, Drone, Nora, okay, and there, there's more in here, I think Irene also, Irene is here often, okay. Um, Kami, that's, I think, first or second time that I've seen her name. Um, um, okay, so we had dream and we had examine. So let's do examine because it's kind of hard to get the X situated and, uh, and getting that also with the M. Yeah, I feel like that's, uh, actually, no. Not examine because there's only one E. So we got exam. <laughs> okay. Um, so exams. Okay. Interesting. So um, I think dreams is um, important. Because dreams are also like within this lucid state of like awareness, right? Um, even if it's in your subconscious. So these are like accessing ideally your feel goods but this is also what's not like apparent to you um when it comes down to the messaging of what the universe is trying to tell you within your own situation they're like hints and clues so if you're not seeing it like blatantly at you it comes within your like like your tamest state okay so um we have dreams here okay that's important um Um, smirk, huh? Hmm. Is that right? Let me see here. I have berserk. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, somebody must think that we're like going berserk or something. But that's because they don't want to accept anything that like it's just beyond them. <laughs> okay. Um... Hmm. 
Smirk. You, you know, um, I think smirk is like kind of like the one up where we don't have to say anything. We just like know we've got it. So it's just like, um, yeah, I feel like that. Just like we're just like pleasantly pleased, <laughs> pleasantly pleased, you know, just pleasantly surprised. So very much pleased with, you know, our own accomplishments and our own takeaways. Definitely. That's definitely when you follow that. Mm -hmm. Um. knob yeah it's like being able to turn the knob mm -hmm. so this is not like a one-up where we're like just um putting in another notch on the belt this is like the turnkey like we're able to like turn the knob we're able to open doors so do you know how big of a one-up that is that is a total upgrade in just like the way of being i like it we're good okay <laughs> okay Okay. I think we have like the colors of the rainbow. We have R O Y B V G. Roy yeah, this is this is like a rainbow 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 type of thing. Um mm -hmm. let me see here. Ugh, keep moving things. Roy, R O Y G B V. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. We even have that. We have that. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So I had to take away the O in order to be able to use it for this. But I feel like that's very significant. <laughs> um, let me just double check here if there's any other places that I could. No, because there's so many consonants there. Like, definitely. I feel like that's solid. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. Um so we have five consonants left. Um I feel like that access point of light, um all colors of light, um that um in itself um, is distinguishable within our own light body. So it's comprehensive of all the rays of light um, uh, funneled down into divine light white. So the combination of those colors equals like the, the ton like white. So um, when it comes down to that, um, it's like elevating our IQ or, um, you know, the comprehensiveness. When we were talking about sentience and um, how, like, given accolades and just sure acknowledgement of our existence and our purpose, our being, um, it enhances not just our awareness, but our mindfulness and how we go about things. So definitely IQ belongs there. Um, XY, XY chromosomes, we just talked about, you know, all of that. Okay. And then, um, B. So we got the butterfly right here again. So this is like getting our wings basically, very angelic energy, definitely. Um, so we have N and Z. Some of it, some of you guys might be from New Zealand or really vibe with that um, area. Um, mm -hmm. Cause it's, those are the two remaining letters here. Um, you know, I think there's something really unfound when it comes to that area, just like 
there's there's something very ancient about that too um like untapped there's something about that um but very well protected as it should be um okay so we have n and z left i think we're looking also at um you know the transformation process where n can like quickly like turn down and be like a z and vice versa so we're looking at that transitional energy again um it's like we're multifaceted we can do this or that you know and um in essence we're kind of both so they want me to leave that just like that is okay and that's wonderful because we you know pride when we got the um all the colors there too so let me just show you what that looks like okay give me a second i don't want it to fall but you see most definitely i like it i like it okay excuse me for just a moment that was wonderful i like it i like it a lot okay and as just a fun card um let's get the frame of mind here oh my gosh the bottom is the bottom is homosexual what okay we'll get that okay and it's doing what self-defeating no i'm not gonna do that you know what let's do self-defeating too okay because we're about growth mindset here and women in reverse okay so we got those three cards here okay Homosexual in reverse doesn't have to imply straight, um, so it, it can, it just, you know, we'll see, okay? What goes in that frame, spirit? Okay, um, kind of a race, it's red and blue, 52 might mean something for you, okay? Um, um, I think it's about competitive energies here, um, because when you're looking at, like, the straight and narrow mindset, um, or the straight and narrow, like just the facts of things, you know, um, when it comes to people, um, the human nature of like com competition, um, that when it comes down to it, it's actually more of a political thing than anything. Um, because why, you know, like at the root level, when it comes to like competition, you're like, okay, well, no, there, that means if, if somebody's transitioning, that means that they get these rights. That means that we have to extend this. That means we have to like, it's more like out of pocket energy. So that's why they're not supported here. Looking at the straight and narrow. Okay. Um, so self-defeating here. Okay. What goes in there, spirit? Self-defeating is an upright. What goes in that box, spirit? Okay. Um, okay. There's two here. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's self-defeating is that we're all cut from the same cloth. Um, yet like people are like measuring, you know, when it comes to races, like who's better, that kind of thing. So that's, um, yeah, not what's better, but who's better, you know, it's like, that's ridiculous. Okay. So what goes in woman in reverse spirit? Okay, my neck is hurting. Um, go. What is that? Oh, the underground women. Um, time to go. <laughs> um, or it could be men go. I don't hold on, dude. I, oh, give me a second. Go. It's a green light. Wait, I'm not understanding that. Can you get one more spirit like to, um, okay, I guess that one. Clown in reverse. Um, men, it's time to go and get serious because this is in reverse, okay? Um, get serious? Like, go, oh, wait, wait, what? Hold on, dude, I messed up here. Okay, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, um, I don't know. Go, get serious. Oh, 
about your independent thinking. Like, don't like be one of the sheep like that just, you know, goes along with it because your, um, you know, uh, whatever belief system you're in, whether it's political, whether it's religious or whatever, don't, don't like fall into the whole sheep category. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing like, because you're being used for your wool, you know, is that the only purpose that you have is to be, that's weird used for your own likeness like that it's not even your own likeness it's the likeness that they're trying to fit you in like a cookie cutter that's what they're using you for you're like you're like a placeholder basically so um it's time to get serious about your independent thinking this is men and the underground women mm -hmm. or also about the um men in transitioning yeah, because there's also like pitfalls in, you know, attitudes that are created because of the lack of um, support and all the violence. Mm -hmm. That's what's happening. Okay, I think that is it. Thank you very much to my supporters, my sponsors, the best of the best love and lighters here. <laughs> Thank you so very much for your donations in advance. <laughs> Um, this is a timeless energy reading. So whenever you see this, and if you like what I do and want to support what I do, if you want to show your appreciation, um, if you click on the link, or if this ends up, it'll lead to my YouTube channel. And um, on any of those videos that you're intuitively guided to, um, to touch on, that's exactly what you were meant to um, touch on, and it'll have my Venmo link. It'll have like even I think, I think I just recently started like the buy me a, a coffee thing, but it's not for coffee, obviously, and it's not for nails. It's not for getting my hair done. None of that. None of that. It's for the livelihood and supporting what I do. Okay. Um, otherwise, hit the like button, the heart button, subscribe. You know, leave a comment, share, you know, all those wonderful things. I really appreciate it. And if this is where we leave, I also appreciate you for sharing your gifts. Um, you know, your guides. Your guidance to your guides. Thank you so very much. Um, I think that's it. Uh, what were we going to say? Um, yeah, so now that this reading is officially over, upon closing all portals, I send all energies back. Um, oh my gosh, I'm sweating, am I? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I guess I'm really that excited. Okay, upon closing all portals, I'm sending all en energies back outside of mine. Thank you so very much. I'm sending you back with your appropriate karmas due. Mm -hmm. In helping you initiate that first domino or however many you've knocked over, whatever, I'm helping you with that, okay? Because um, there's many patterns that we set up, right? <laughs> okay. So sending you all back um, with light and love, I close all portals now. <laughs>